Good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. Um, hello, Markel. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Christy. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Walter. Hello, Brandon. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Amy. How's everybody doing today <clears throat> slash tonight, I guess? It is 8 o'clock, right? Hello, Laura. Hello, Luann. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited because tonight, hello, Lori, I finally get to share with you this box. And um, I'm not going to lie to you, this box um, was not in the plans. Uh, this we, we had a completely, um, completely different concept for uh, my birthday box this year and we switched gears at the last minute and uh, we made this box happen. So uh, thank you so much to the incredible team here at Brutus Monroe for making uh, this happen. So uh, hello, hello everyone. So we're gonna head down to the table. Uh, tonight I have a fun, kind of easy, quick little project for us to do for all the folks that are in uh, musical theater or in a show, or even if you just have uh, a favorite actor or actress that uh, is, maybe you're going to Broadway and you wanna take a little gift to them. Uh, I think it would be uh, a lot of fun to create this little project that we're gonna create tonight. But first, we're gonna go over the entire release. I have my trusty cheat sheet here that's gonna tell me everything 
uh, that I'm going to go over with you tonight so I don't miss a single thing. And this will be your final opportunity to get this box. Um, it is the 18th of April, and we will not be restocking this box. So just as a heads up, if you love everything that's inside of this kit, uh, the, my birthday kit this year, we will not be restocking it. I think we have less than 20 of them left. Please grab it while you can. So let's head down to the table and let's talk about this uh, incredible kit. So let me zoom out, whoops, that zoom in, zoom out just a little bit. And I have my little pieces here ready that I, I created earlier so that we didn't have to, uh, didn't have to worry about drawing time but I'm still gonna show you uh, how I did it. So when you open up the No Day But Today birthday box, there's gonna be a lot of items inside. This is uh, generally our one-off boxes, which is what we call these. They are going to be double the size of what one of our regular everyday boxes would be. So first and foremost, ask us if we can read the name on the poster now. Oh, could you read it? That's awesome, that's fantastic. So. First and foremost, you are going to get a piece of the incredible, incredible, this is our, this is, these are our sequin sheets, and I'm pretty sure that the No Day But Today die might fit on here. We're going to have to try that out tonight, but if you've never used our sequin sheets, they are literally what the sequins at Brutus Monroe are made out of. They're just, they have not been cut out yet. So this is a sequin sheet. We're going to test that tonight. Why not? Shall we? You are going to get the Night Out Slimline Paper Pad. This is, uh, we, we have only done one other Slimline Paper Pad before, but this particular paper pad just made sense to have as a Slimline uh, because of the fact that it is, oh, I gotta move this out of the way because it's trying to focus on that. Uh, because of the way that the artwork was produced. So on the back, as always, it's going to tell you move this out of the way too. It's going to tell you what papers that we have here at British Renault are colors that this will coordinate with. So we have Potion, Raven, Lagoon, Scarlet, Jack-O-Lantern, and Phone Book. Yes, we, uh, we put that, we manufactured them today for you, Michelle. I put in a request last night. So let's take a look at these papers. So you can see here, we have this incredible stage with all these like kind of lasers on there. Then on the back, we have another stage that has all sorts of confetti and a really cool spotlight. Then we have a piece, let me actually move these to the side so we can focus on just one. Then we have the seats, the theater seats. How cool would it be for you to place that on one of your cards? And then we have this one that has the cool Aztec background. Then we have this one that has kind of a darker scene. It's, again, already ready to go. Then we have this one that has just the plain brick backdrop. Then we have the single microphone. And then look at this one with all of the different rainbow. Oh, that would be perfect for, for dancers, absolutely. Then we have another scene. And then we have this one that's got a little podium. How fun is that? Then we have just you looking out from the stage. So this is looking out from the stage into the audience. And then last but not least, one of my favorites, this is just the curtain. So imagine what you can do with just the curtain there. All right. And then they repeat. Okay, so that is the Slimline Paper Pad. And again, what I'm showing right now is everything that you are going to receive in your box. And then on the back, of course, whoops, this one's upside down. On the back, of course, it's gonna show you all of the different patterns that you get inside of your paper pad. And again, as Heather mentioned, they are not, they are not, glued together so you can just use them right out of the package. You don't have to kind of fight with it. All right, so let's dig in, shall we? First, I'm gonna move these items out of the way so we can talk about all of the other goodies that are inside of here, because you do get paper, you get your card bases, you get some stencils. This kit is jam-packed. All right, so let's move these these items out of the way first. 
and let's talk about the paper first. So you are going to receive a piece of potion, a piece of phone book, a piece of, I believe this is Scarlet or Holly, a piece of C, a piece of Raven, and then of course a piece of our beautiful glossy black cardstock. You're going to receive two stencils. This stencil is really cool for creating a scene where the drama is kind of in the center. You're going to receive this really cool comedy and tragedy, all sorts of different masks stencil. You're going to receive either silver or gold of these really, really cool glitter foam stickers. You're going to receive five of our pre-cut, pre-scored card bases. So these are already ready to go for you. You don't have to worry about scoring or cutting any type of um, cardstock. You are going to receive the Curtain Call and Specialty Embossing Powder. This is gorgeous because it's loaded with gold glitter and it's a red base. Then you are going to receive the No Day But Today cutting die. So this is the No Day But Today cutting die. It is two pieces and it comes in your handy little folder there or uh, envelope. You're gonna receive the No Day But Today two by three stamp. Now this stamp matches the No Day But Today. It's a little bit larger. You can see the size of this one. Uh, so if you would like for, to have it in a clear form, it does come in the the kit, but you can also purchase it separately if you would like. You're going to receive the Encore. This is a beautiful, and I love that they're separate. So you can, it's not like one big background. You can do these as, you know, kind of across if you would like. And then the Piece de Resistance, you are going to receive the Theater Icons stamp set. This is a six by eight stamp set. We have This Night Was Like a Dream Come True, More Theater, Less Drama, There's Only This, That's From Rent. The novel is more of a whisper, whereas the stage is a shout. Real life is messy and drama is a shaped version of real life. And then love the art in yourself, not yourself in the art. And then we have, of course, all sorts of different theater icons, but that's not all. You're also getting the coordinating die set. So you can see there's, a, there. I mean, my goodness, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 23 dies with this die set. Isn't that incredible? So I can't fit everything on the screen, although I'm going to try. Let me zoom out a little bit here. And also you're going to get all of this paper. So that is, oh, do you get this glitter too? Did I forget to show this? Do you get this too, Heather? I don't know if you get the glitter too. I might have lied. She's going to tell us in, in probably one second. I don't know if you get the glitter too. You do get the glitter too. Oh my goodness. What a steal. So you are also going to get, let me zoom back in for this. You are going to get the new Raven glitter. Look at how pretty that is. Ooh wee. All right, so let's put all of this away really quickly so that I can show you the bonus products. You do have the option to purchase the box with the bonus products as well, all together with one click if you would like, or um, you can purchase just the box, you can purchase just the bonus products, whatever you would like. Uh, we have all sorts of different configurations for you this time. And also you'll notice we're doing something different with the, um, with the products. So for, um, like for instance, the All the World's a Stage, you can now purchase just the stamp. You can purchase the stamp and the die. You can purchase the stamp, the die, and the stencil. Um, you can, is the stamp and die set ever going to be restocked? Uh, yes, the stamp and die. The box is the only thing that will not be restocked. Oh, thanks, Jill. Is the stamp out of stock already? The theater icon stamp, is that what you're talking about? <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's out of stock yet or not. Okay. 
All right, so now let me go through, let's go through the other items for this release. It was, okay, is it back in stock now? I don't know. So these are the blinding lights washi sheets. If you have seen our washi sheets in the past, the way that they work is, I'm gonna pull this out of the package here. They are, let me just take a piece of black cardstock here to show you. They are already pre die cut washi tape sheets. So all you do is you take your piece of cardstock or your envelope or whatever you're using and you just use it just like washi. But the thing is, when we have washi tape, the biggest issue that we run into is nobody ever uses, it's in stock now, okay, good. Nobody ever uses all of their washi tape because it's so hard to use washi tape. So you can see here that very quickly as I'm chattering, you can take this, apply it onto your paper, are both the stock okay? And there we go. You've created a, a quick and easy background, and everybody's really loving these washi sheets because they're just they're so easy to use, and they're already pre die cut, pre uh, pre done for you, and that is I mean really easy peasy, right? And that is the uh, Brutus and Rowe washi sheets. Uh, these are the blinding lights and it is BRU0803 if you are looking for it on the website. All right, moving right along. So this is the stamp that I used on Tuesday. I'm obsessed with this stamp. I think all of you are going to be pretty obsessed with it too. So this is the All the Worlds A Stage stamp set. Um, the all I love that you are using the washi. <laughs> That's Jess's favorite thing. So, this is the All the Worlds of Stage um, stamp set. I'm going to show you really quickly because I already have one stamped out here. I'm going to show you how the die set works because the die set is really cool. You put it, yes, okay. So, the way the die set works is the die cuts out the curtain or it'll cut out the seats do you see that so you can pop this up or you can just use just use the um the individual pieces just use the curtain or just use the chairs whatever you would like uh what size is what this stamp so the stamp is, it's, it's, a, it's a six by six backer, but the actual size is, let me grab my card maker's ruler. The actual size is about five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Yep, about five and a quarter by five and a quarter when it's stamped out, okay? So that is the coordinating die set. So you can either get just the stamp or you can get the stamp and the die or there's another bundle. Wait, there's more. Let me pop this back in here. Heather, is this my die set? I just need to double check. Or you can get the stamp die stencil combo. So we used this stencil the other night. This stencil colors this in. I don't have my card anymore because I gave it away to Emily's sweet sister, but uh, we're going to be using this kit quite a bit for the rest of the month. So this stencil will color and it's a three-part stencil and it will color this in okay all right got it good it got it good okay so what else is on my cheat sheet okay next up we're going to talk about the marquee the marquee stamp set i do not have this stamped out so let me pop it out of the package and show you so the marquee this reminds me we have the a Benidim theater here the Benidim Theater here in Pittsburgh. And there's a marquee on the top and it is almost identical to this one. So the marquee is just absolutely incredible because you can put all sorts of different sayings on the marquee on your card. We're gonna use this one tonight. And then there is a coordinating die. So this coordinating die cuts out the inside of the marquee as well as the outside, okay? 
So you'll be able to use this little strip and you can pop that up. You can put lights behind it. You can do whatever you would like, but this is really cool because it's going to cut out the inside of the marquee as well as all the way around the outside. Okay, isn't that cool? I think that's cool. But what is a marquee without letters on it? So let me pop this back into its packaging here. This is again the stamp and die combo. If you uh, pull out your product and it has this sti rainbow sticker on it, that means of course it is a stamp and die combo. And then we have the marquee sentiment. So I designed this to go with the marquee. I'm gonna show you this tonight. So the musical, congrats, break a leg, now showing. And then all of the letters that you can create your own saying with. So when you create your own saying, you can do it just like this, just like what a marquee would look like. So when you look up at the marquee, normally, let me see if I could show you this without it getting too crazy. When you look up at the marquee, you would see congrats or break a leg or now showing and you can put something underneath of it or the musical. So, or the musical, yeah. So you could put whatever, whatever you want. No coordinating die with the marquee. Yes, there is not a coordinating die, no. So yes, so you can create whatever you would like at your, and these, I was a musical theater kid. I mean, I guess I'm still a musical theater kid, even though I don't really perform in musical theater stuff, but um, I would have loved, loved to get a card like this whenever I was in shows. All right, so I'm looking at my cheat sheet. What else do I have? Okay, so we already saw this stencil, this stencil. Uh, is, uh, is, oh no, we didn't see the stencil. This is the Let's Dance stencil. We talked about what dance this is um, in, uh, from, uh, from another Broadway show, the Rocky Horror Show. Okay, then we have two brand new embossing powders. So we have, let me zoom in for this. We have Curtain Call as well as Opening Night. So Curtain Call is in the kit, but you can also get it separately. Oh my goodness, the amount of glitter in there. And then Opening Night is probably one of my absolute favorites. Look at all the glitter in there. I'm trying not to drop it. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so we have two new embossing powders. You can either get it in the kit, which it will come in the bag, or you can get it in the jar and then opening night only comes in the jar then we have our new squeaky clean this is called lead roll and i just have to spray it because oh my goodness it smells so good so this actually uh is a very masculine scent i will tell you that it is actually was formulated to smell like my cologne so if you've ever We've ever met in person, and if you like my cologne, that's what this smells like. <laughs> so that is lead roll. And then last but certainly not least, let me double check my list. It is glitter embossing powder. We have two chromamis. So these are liquid pigments. We have um, Angel of Music, which is from Phantom of the Opera. And we have Waitress, which is from the musical Waitress two of my favorite musicals. So we're gonna get started by spraying these out so you can take a look at what they look like. And we're gonna be making a tag, um, a tag gift card holder tonight. That is, that is the, um, that's the idea tonight. Oh yes, Stacy, that, that's the idea. <laughs> All right, let me grab my scoring board. And my spray vestibule. So I can show you what they look like. All right. Move this down a little bit. So again, with your chroma mist that have the mica in them, these actually should probably call, be called shimmer mist, but they're not because they do have shimmer in them. 
You're going to want to roll them like this. You do not want to shake it like this. You want to roll it like this. And we're going to start with the, the waitress. We're just going to kind of generously spray that all over. And then we're going to take the angel of music and we're just going to spritz that in a couple of different areas, okay? Do I want more of these trays? Um, I will always take more of these trays. So you can see it is wet now, but you're going to see just how shining, shimmering, splendid this is going to be when it dries. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop at my Dollar Tree maybe tonight to see if they have any. But I want to show you what the Angel of Music looks like. So this is the Angel of Music dry on a piece of black cardstock. This is just Raven cardstock. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that incredible? And it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't come off. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now the finished tags that I have dry already, they look like this. And I'm gonna show you how I got this really cool patina on here. So you'll notice that they have like this really cool texture on them. So this is what they look like when they're dry. And I used just the Brutus Monroe Jumbo Media Tags. That's all I used. And you can see when they're dry, look at how incredible they look. But what I did to get this texture is, do any of you have cutting plates that look like this? I bet a lot of you do. Don't throw these away, okay? Because when you are flattening these out and you have all of this gorgeous beautiful color do not do not use your flat plates to flatten it out i used those plates and it gave me all of this texture on the background isn't that cool yeah mine are u-shaped too but see how can you see all the texture in the background that came from those old plates and do you see the amount of shine that's on here? Just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay. So now we're gonna get out our fuse machine because I have a trick up my sleeves tonight. I have a little trick up my sleeves. All right, let me get this ready to go. So we brought something in, we don't have a lot of it though. We bought the rest of it and there's not a whole lot of it left, but we brought in and all of my 12 by 12 fans are going to be, um, it was, no, it was an experiment and it worked. I was so excited. So we brought in something, this is from Colorplay, from Photoplay, and this is 12 by 12 foilable black cardstock now again my friends we don't have a lot of this okay we don't have a whole lot of this so if you want this snatch it up <laughs> snatch it up as soon as you can because we don't have a lot of this because I'm gonna make all three of these tags and I'm gonna show you different ways to do it okay we don't have a lot of this paper but I'm gonna show you how to use it okay so first things first what we're gonna do with these tags while the fuse is heating up is we do have to go in and we have to score this with our scoreboard. We are going to score this at one and a half inches. Okay, and that's going to allow us to fold it up. Don't worry, we're gonna do something with this lip. Okay, don't worry. I thought it was like, it reminded me of um, like a beautiful filigree curtain is what it reminded me. Oh, and I don't know where my clear cover sheet is for my fuse. Whoopsies. I didn't even think about that. So again, one and a half inches is where you're going to score this at. Oh yeah, that this, this paper is going to be gone by the end of this live, I can already tell you. It will be gone. Okay, so we're gonna probably go ahead and do some foiling before we even uh, apply it onto here. You could even just use this like this if you wanted to. 
but let's take a quick measurement here. So this is four inches by four inches by one and a half inches. So we are going to need this to be oopsies. Oh, we're ready to go already. Let me grab my pen because I gotta write down my So that's going to be 3.75 by 1.25 inches is what we'll need for the mat layer, okay? But I think what I'm going to do is instead of for the for the actual outline, we're going to use a piece of the beautiful beautiful scarlet paper. I know Heather, but I have no idea where the clear Do you know where the clear um my little clear folder went for the machine. If not, I'm just going to use it without it. Just do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so we need this to be four inches wide by one and a half inches. I don't know where my little clear sandwich went for the fuse. It's like that clear folder. It's around here somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay. It's around here somewhere. All right. So let's go ahead and adhere these on while we are... I mean, the fuse is heated up, but. That was the Big Daddy trimmer. It sure was. I think we just got them back in stock. If we didn't, they are coming back. I know that. I know that much. They are coming back. So I was thinking that this would be a cool little holder for you to use. Like whenever I was done with a show when I was in high school, I would get like flowers or like candy or something like that. And I, I think this would be a really cool holder for you to give uh, a gift card in. I do have a little gift card to kind of show you. Um, as well as uh, you can attach it like onto the flowers or onto a little candy bag. And you get quite a few of these jumbo media tags in the kit i mean in the the bag when you order them so you can make quite a few of these i mean make them for the whole cast next year i'm definitely making something for the cast at moon i didn't have time this year but next year i'm definitely gonna whip something up for them whoopsies okay there we go all right Move those over to the side and let's get started on our cardstock here. Wait till you see how this, I mean, y'all are going to want to scoop this up the second you see what's about to happen. So we need this to be, I don't want to waste a single bit of it. So 3.75 wide. Let me cut off the, the brand strip first. Because we don't need that. All right, brand strip is off. So let's cut this to three, 3.75. Okay. And then 1.25 is what we're gonna need. So let's just trim this down. So 1.25, let's just trim this down to six inches because that'll give us plenty. All right, are you ready? What is the right term for this kind of paper? Embossed, textured, this, this is printed uh, with a, this is actually printed with a foil reactive toner. And please ignore my giant roll of foil. We've talked about this before. I'm the luckiest guy in the world because since I have a line of foil with ThermoWeb, this is how they send me my samples. So I get giant rolls of foil. 
All right. So what I'm gonna do, since I don't have my little backer, this is double-sided too, there's like plants on the other side. But we're not using the plants. I'm just gonna fold this over. Because this is a pretty heavy duty cardstock, so I'm not too concerned. And I'm gonna use my Christopher Allen scissors. And I'm just gonna trim this down. You'll be a little bit more, you know, a little more careful with your foil. I'm not as careful because I have a lot of it, but you wanna be a little more careful with yours. Oh, a black glitter foil. Hmm. All right, and I'm just gonna send this through. Actually, I lied. I don't want that toner to touch that. So we're gonna send it through. We'll send it through with a, um, just in a piece of paper here, just to be safe. Because I can't find my little, my rotary cutter needs a new blade. That's where it is. It needs a new blade. Alright, so we're going to send this through. Oopsies. Hold on. Hold on. I really wish I could find my little clear guy. I don't know where my little clear folder went. I'm just going to send it through and we're going to hope for the best. That's all. Sending it through and we're going to hope for the best. Because we don't have time to, uh, <laughs> don't have time to, to look for it. Well, yes, this is real life. This is real life crafting. Real life live crafting. I'm pretty sure that there is, because see, this is going to stretch over this. It's going to be okay. It's going to stretch over it, but it's going to be okay. I think we still have them. Do we still have them? Do we still have the sheets? Oh, no, it worked just fine. Oh, it's perfect. All right. Plug this puppy. I think we still have the carrier sheets in stock, but I'm not sure. Listen, we're just winging it tonight. That's all we're doing. Because, I mean, I can tell you right now, I would be making this 15 minutes before the curtain goes up. <laughs> so, this is the exact same way that I've been doing it in real life. All right, are you ready? Is everybody ready? Wait, let me put this back before I'm going to lose this. I can tell you right now. All right. Everybody ready? One, one, two, three, go. Everyone. All right, now I messed this up, the back of it up, but that's okay, we don't need the back of it. Let's do a zoom, shall we? Isn't that incredible? This paper is going to be sold out by the end of this live. I can tell you right now. And a cool trick is if you have pieces that are like a little bit wonky, you can take your pixie tape and you can go over areas and it will peel up all of those little wonky pieces. Okay. Isn't that cool? And it's just gonna make it elegant for the theater, right? For the theater. Okay, so we're gonna cut these down now to, what did I say, one and, how did I lose my cheat sheet in one second? There we go. By one and a quarter. Where's my, where's the big daddy trimmer? There it is. So one and a quarter is right here. It's a little tricky to do the smaller dimensions on here, but once you get the hang of it, 
and then this is just going to add just the little bit of oomph that we need for the bottom of our little envelope here. So see how that's just going to add a little bit of glimmer and glisten to that? That's all it needed. But I mean, I can tell you that I'd be very excited to receive this. Okay. First one. And you could even put the little star's name at the bottom here. And I think we might use the no day but today on the background of one of them. We'll have to see if it fits. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. I'm just applying these onto my little gift card holder. And you can do something on the back if you would like. Um, I'm not going to cover the back just for sake of I don't know that I'm going to be giving these to anybody, but you'll kind of get the idea now of what's happening, right? See what's happening? Did you see? I did use the Chroma Mist. Yeah, these are the new Chroma Mists. Yes, these are the new ones. All right, let me get my die out because I want to try. I want to see something here. I'd love to see something. I want this to. Where are my scissors? This is how I like to open these. Because then I have my little envelope. Oh. I don't know. Oh, it's just a hair too big, but that's okay. Well, no, it's more than a hair. That's okay. We'll use the black. It doesn't fit, but you could do the letters. You could do the letters, but it's just a hair too big, but that's okay. That's all right. NBD. Because I think that this will still be able to fit. Yep, it'll fit there perfectly. All right, so I already have the backgrounds cut. For this. I cut these out ahead of time. So this will be able to fit right here. And then we'll re-hole punch. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I can't I, I can't tell you that there's gonna be a single theater kid that is not going to know what no day but today is. They do separate, yes. Just like so. But it's great because the letters all get cut out at the same time. All right, so let me find some cardstock. All right, so I think I'm going to use the precious metals paper, which I believe is still in stock, but I might be lying. I'm going to use the gold to go with the theme. This is our gold precious metals cardstock. And I'm going to use those same warped, I'm going to use the warped panels because it's not going to affect anything because this is, this paper is going to be completely protected on the other side, but it gives us a cool warped, um, if it gives us a cool warped finish, that's okay because we already have the warped finish in the back. If you want it to be perfect, just grab yourself some new plates. And 
and I think for uh, for sake of time, we'll probably just do one of them. But you can see here that this will now, and yes, I was using the lawnmower. This will now allow us, oh, these are back in stock, guys. These are back in stock. So make sure you grab them while you can, because I only ordered a hundred of them. All right, so that's gonna pop out all of the inner pieces. our T and I connected the letters when I designed this so that it would be really easy for you to line things up I have not set it up yet I've been so busy I'm hoping to set it up though maybe tomorrow I've been busy 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 getting stuff finalized for um, create your own ending all right let me grab my panel here. This is very regal. I love the Precious Metals cardstock. And this really is giving a theater vibe. That's for sure. Whoopsies. Gonna shift this up over just a little bit. But that's okay because everything will dry clear. Okay. And it's all connected, so you don't have to worry about like where does this letter go? Where does that letter go? I mean you'll probably go in order, unlike me, but I designed it, so luckily I know. I still know what the order is. It hasn't been that long since I designed it. This is a really fun, really fun die set. I need to put more glue on here. You know me and wet adhesive. We don't get along. We never have. From a very young age. Adjust that just a hair. Okay. And there we go. It is back. Look at that no day but today. Oh my word. So then to put this together, we're gonna to take a little bit of dry adhesive first. Actually, we'll put it on here. I suggest using both, because the dry adhesive will stick it right away, and the wet adhesive will stick it down forever. Right. We're going to pop this down like so. See that? And then, hello, Monique. We're going to take this. And actually, we should still be able to do ribbon. I guess it doesn't have to be a tag, huh? It doesn't have to be a tag. Make sure that that stays down. I'm going to grab my squeaky clean microfiber cloth and just burnish up the because the glue is not going to stick to the shiny so you can just kind of burnish it up and look at how shiny this gets 
No, you can't have too many. You can't. And we're going to glue this down. I mean, you could keep it as a tag if you want. I think I'm going to, well, maybe we'll keep it as a tag. I'm going to see if I have any ribbon over there. And I'm sure I have a ton. Because we can just go in and punch a hole at the top. Then we have our no day but today, and I just got more glue on there. On the front after I just cleaned it off. All right. So we have our no day but today, which is centered, which all of your theater kids are going to love. I mean, I know I do, and I was a theater kid for a long time. I'm just going to take my hole punch. I'm just going to hole punch out that at the top. See, you can't even tell that I did that, right? I mean, I can't. And I just did it. We're just going to take our microfiber cloth again and get rid of all of that glue that I just got all over this from my fingers. Let me find some ribbon. Let's see. Some Brutus Monroe ribbon, no less. Love this stuff. We haven't had this in a while, though. All right. So we're going to cut this in half. Oopsies. And then... We are going to feed this through. I should have probably fed both pieces through at the same time. I love making tags. Does anybody else like making tags? I love it. Okay, and then you're just going to put this at the top, and then you're going to grab yourself a piece of baker's twine you can get this i mean anywhere we carry a blue version of it and then you're going to take your baker's twine and you're going to tie yourself a little knot okay and these pieces, you're just going to cut them off and let them kind of just do their own thing. But now you have like this wild ribbon at the top. And who wouldn't love to get that, you know, tucked into some flowers? But would it be a Christopher Allen card if I didn't add some? Christopher, do you decide your colors? I generally decide them before I start. That's really the only thing that I plan. That's it. All right. So hold on, hold on, hold on. I need some of the Brutus Monroe gems. Hold on. Oh, here they are. Here they are. I want some of the red shift. Because I think I just need to add a little something to this. As if it's not glitz and glamoury enough. I want to just add a couple of gems in the open spots. I have a feeling... This paper is going to be at SOS status very soon, if it's not already. Yeah, the jumbo media tags from Brutus Monroe make those types of albums really, really easy to do as well, I think. I mean, would this be a Christopher Allen project if... There weren't gems all over it. Nope. If you answered no, you answered correctly. All right, remember, grab these, grab that back in stock. Yeah, usually it's not very, I'm very, uh, I kind of let my brain just go and 
that's what I do. All right, so now you're saying, Christopher, well, what the heck did you do all that for? Well, I'm so glad you asked. You're gonna take your, not Valentine's Day, this is just the only gift card that I had in my desk, and you're gonna place this right here. So they get their gift card, they get their beautiful, oh my goodness, I forgot one. I got so excited I forgot one. Now they do have a lot of really cool clear gift cards that I've seen out there. Let's see if I can do this. Ha ha, gem master. Told you, I have my PhD in gems. I use gems on my live tonight as well. They're pretty first. Oh, I'll have to watch your live. Post a link. Or Penny, can you post a link? So this is what you would give the recipient. Um, so this is, you know, what, so this is what, so the really cool thing about this is once they take their gift card out, so, you know, they grab their gift card, they take it out. This then becomes a piece that they hang on the wall, right? And it was so easy. I mean, we just took, I mean, beforehand, all this was, was this. That's all it is. That's it. Just a white jumbo media tag. That's it. That's all it was. <laughs> Excuse me. So easy. So, so easy. Whoops. Uh-oh. Did my camera overheat? Hold on. camera oh no I know what happened haha <laughs> oh my goodness gracious I was scared to pieces because this front camera whoo if something happened to it I'd be I'd have to sell Girl Scout cookies there we go all right that's it everybody thank you so much for coming back to the Brutus and Roth Theater. We only have one more week where I will be uh, stepping out of my makeshift dressing room and uh, onto the stage with all of you and uh, creating. But I have so many more really cool little projects up my sleeves. This one was just was just so much fun to do tonight. I had, I had such a good time doing this. Um, and it was it was good it was it was a lot of fun it was it was very simple uh not too many crazy instructions and um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it back here and i'm gonna display it well we'll figure that out later so all right everybody thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight thank you so much for being a part of my life i appreciate you all so very much from the bottom of my heart um Remember to create something every single day, whether that is simply a memory or your own ending. I love you all to pieces, and I will see you all tomorrow on the regularly scheduled live. Tomorrow's a regularly scheduled picking uh, and packing live, and boy, it's going to be a doozy. It's going to be a lot of fun because they have a new game that they're playing tomorrow. So you'll want to make sure that you get on on that, and we have some brand new products coming. So thank you so much. I will talk to you all very soon. Have a wonderful night.